Hey everybody, welcome back to Political Excess. Today I've got another hypothetical 2024 presidential matchup for you. It's a goofy one, but let's try Chelsea Clinton for the Democrats against Ivanka Trump for the Republicans. They're both the daughters of former presidents. They're both close to the same age. I'd say they both have a similar media type of exposure. Obviously this is never going to happen, but let's play it out, have a little bit of fun, and see what would happen. Safe states are over a 10-point margin, likely 5 to 10 points, lean under 5 points, and tilt 1 point or less. So right off the bat, how I see this race going, Chelsea Clinton, I would see her as a much younger, less hated version of Hillary Clinton. She would probably embody all of the typical expected Democratic establishment viewpoints, so she would fit in nicely there. Ivanka Trump, I really don't know what kind of platform she would run on exactly, but I would guess she would try to appeal to both sides, but she would probably more so fall on the Republican light type of candidate, sort of like a Mitt Romney. She'd probably be viewed as a rhino, because I don't think she's really going to run on any of the issues that Trump made a centerpiece of his campaign. I don't think she's going to be able to handle much criticism from the media, and I know the media would really go after her because she's associated with Trump, and Chelsea Clinton would probably get, I would assume, pretty light treatment from the media. So I do see a lot of the Trump voters staying home. In the blue areas, I think some of those voters would want to stay home as well, because they don't want to vote for another Clinton. The suburbs would be a little bit more up for grabs, but considering all that, I think Chelsea Clinton would win out on a lot of these states, due to the decreased turnout affecting the Trump voters more often. So with all that said, let's start in Alaska. That will be a likely for Ivanka Trump. It's a fairly red state. As I said, the Trump voters, they're not coming out for Ivanka. But in the end, she'd still win that probably by maybe only five or six points. Hawaii, that's going to be safe for Clinton. Up to the West Coast, Washington, Oregon, California. As usual, safe for the Democrat, in this case, Chelsea Clinton. How about in Nevada? That will be a lean for Chelsea Clinton. I don't think a lot of working class voters are going to be drawn to either of these candidates. But in the end, Chelsea is going to win this by a few points. Idaho and Utah, those will still be safe for Ivanka Trump. Arizona, that will be a lean for Chelsea Clinton. With Trump turnout lower, Clinton's going to carry that by three, four, maybe even five points. Montana and Wyoming, those are still red enough to where Ivanka Trump will win those by a safe margin. Colorado, that will be a safe for Chelsea Clinton. New Mexico, that will be a likely for Chelsea Clinton. That's probably high single digits. North Dakota, South Dakota, safe for Ivanka Trump. Nebraska at large, safe for Trump. In the second district with Omaha, that will be a likely for Chelsea Clinton. It's very suburban, and if this were 15 or 20 years ago, I would say a light Republican would be able to win that, but nowadays... It's going to go for Chelsea Clinton by over five points. In that first district, that will be borderline safe, likely, but probably just over a 10-point margin. Kansas will be over 10 points still for Ivanka Trump. Oklahoma, that'll be easy, safe for Trump. Texas, that I have is a lean for Ivanka Trump, probably four to five points. I'm anticipating Clinton getting out the blue vote in Austin and Travis County, the Dallas suburbs, the Houston suburbs. I think enough of them would come out, and enough of those deep red Trump counties would have their margins reduced. Clinton would get this actually down to a competitive level, but she would still lose it, and Ivanka Trump would still win it. Up to Minnesota, that'll be it likely for Clinton. Probably mid to high single digits. Iowa, that will be likely for Trump. I don't see Chelsea Clinton getting that overly competitive, but she would definitely get another 10 points. Missouri, that will still be a little over 10 point margin. Safe for Trump. Arkansas... Louisiana, these states and most of these southern states, they're not going to have much of a connection with the Democrats still at a statewide level, so they will go safe for Trump. Up to Wisconsin, that'll go lean for Clinton, probably two to four points. Again, even if Ivanka Trump does a little bit better in some of the suburban Madison or Milwaukee counties, it's not going to be enough to make up the margins that she'd lose in the red Trump counties, and Clinton would carry Wisconsin. Illinois, safe for Clinton. Michigan, that'll be likely for Clinton, probably five, six, maybe seven points even. Indiana, safe for Trump, but not easily so, probably 10 to 12 points only. Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, those will be safe for Trump. Again, those southern states, 
pretty easy for almost any Republican to win at this point. How about in Florida? That will be a lean for Ivanka Trump. The state is trended toward the right. Still waiting to see how far it trends on a presidential level. But even considering all that, I would think Ivanka Trump will be able to win this by at least one or two points. Maybe even three, four, or five points. Up to Georgia, that will be lean for Clinton. Probably two, three, four, or five points herself. Again, I think the red Trump counties, they're going to stay home. The suburbs around Atlanta, Cobb and Gwinnett counties, I think they would probably come out a lot more for someone like Clinton, and she would win it. And one other thing about a lot of these southern states, I don't think either of these candidates really has much appeal here, especially with black voters. I don't think they'd want to come out for Chelsea Clinton at all. They're not really at all going to want to come out for Ivanka Trump either. So the suburban voters, especially in a place like Georgia, they would be key to putting Clinton over the top. South Carolina, that will be just over a 10-point safe margin for Trump. North Carolina, that I have is a tilt for Clinton. That would be a flip, and she'd be able to pick it up. For similar reasons I've already mentioned, I don't think Ivanka Trump is really going to excite anybody, not remotely in the same way someone like Donald Trump did. And the Democrats in North Carolina, they're not going to be completely enthusiastic about Chelsea Clinton, but they would be excited enough about getting a woman and someone with the Clinton name back in that White House, and they would flip North Carolina. Let's go up to Ohio, and that I have as a lean for Ivanka Trump. The margins are reduced from many other Republicans here in Ohio. I still think the state is red enough to where Trump would win that by at least three or four points. But with no reason or excitement to come out for Ivanka, Chelsea Clinton would do better than most Democrats would do in Ohio. West Virginia, that would still stay safe for Ivanka Trump. Let's go up to Maine. At large, safe for Clinton. First district, safe for Clinton. The second district, that'll be a tilt for Ivanka Trump. That district has trended toward the right. Almost any Republican could win it. It would be very close. Clinton could win it. I'll give Ivanka the benefit of the doubt and say she wins that by under one point. New Hampshire, that will be likely for Clinton. Both of these candidates, I think, would do theoretically well in the Northeast, the better educated and the wealthier areas. But nowadays, a lot of those voters have trended toward the Democrats. And when going up against someone like Ivanka, Chelsea Clinton would win those relatively comfortably. Vermont, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, and Maryland, all safe for Chelsea Clinton. Washington, D.C. as well. Pennsylvania, that will be likely for Chelsea Clinton. Probably just over five points, maybe six. Again, Democrats and independents in the Pittsburgh and Philadelphia suburbs, they would be willing to vote for Chelsea Clinton over Ivanka Trump. The red rural counties, I just don't see them coming out for Ivanka, and Clinton would win this. And finally, the last state is Virginia. Of course, Northern Virginia has a lot of those D.C. elites and the suburbs. they become highly Democratic over the past decade or so. And no surprise, Chelsea Clinton would win this by a likely margin. It could even be a safe margin. But I will put it down in high single digits for Clinton. And that is my map, and that would result in 219 electoral votes for Ivanka Trump, 319 for Chelsea Clinton. Chelsea Clinton would win this election by 100 electoral votes. It wouldn't really be all that close. Of course, there's unknown factors, the national environment. We also don't know vice presidential candidates. We don't know what kind of platform these candidates would run on. But even considering all that, I still think whatever platforms both of them do run on, Chelsea Clinton, she's going to have more appeal to the voters where it matters. Ivanka Trump, I think whatever she runs on, it's going to fall mostly flat where it counts. And in this battle of the presidential daughters, Chelsea Clinton is the clear winner in my opinion. Of course, there's unknowns, but this is the map I've settled on. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this matchup and my map? Do you mostly agree or do you disagree on five or six of these states? Let me know down below. And if you enjoy this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.